Welcome to a tour of an immaculate desert island where sweeping sand dunes, meticulously placed cacti, and oasises are just absolutely incredible under the desert sun. This island is by an amazing Animal Crossing creator known as Secretly Me on Instagram. I'm going to be linking their Instagram in the description below so you can check out all of their amazing creations and islands. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And before we begin this tour, let's just take one minute to thank this video's sponsor. Taking care of our bodies is crucial for self-care, starting from the inside out and what we eat. However, shopping for, prepping, and cooking nutrient-dense meals every single day can be time-consuming and draining. That's why I'm a big fan of Factor, who was kind enough to sponsor this video. They completely simplify meal planning, providing nourishing meals without the stress of grocery shopping, prep, or cooking fatigue. And they offer a variety of chef-crafted, dietitian approved meals that are delivered straight to your door with options like keto, calorie smart, vegan, veggie, and more. Factor is also flexible, allowing you to adjust your order weekly or pause or reschedule deliveries as needed. It's just a hassle-free way to enjoy healthy meals without the effort. You can get 50% off your first Factor box and 20% off your next month of orders using my link. Click the link in the description or scan the QR code with your phone. Thank you so much to Factor for sponsoring this video. Oh my goodness, here we are at sunset and even just walking from resident services to the airport has been such a treat. I can't wait to show you this island. Also, this really cute outfit was left out with a couple of other items too. If you want to take certain pictures or wear a different outfit, there are a few options, but this one was just calling my name today. Now, of course, before we actually dive into the tour, we have to go ahead and take a look at this island's map. And kind of as I expected, not too much terraforming, uh, a large amount of water, which actually is surprising. And then of course, tons and tons of dirt and sand pathing, which I think is just absolutely perfect for this kind of island. Here's the dream address right on the screen. If you do want to pause the video, grab your switch, tour along with me. But of course, all that good stuff will be mentioned below as well. So you can reference it at any given time. And for villagers here, we have a really cute lineup. We have Zell, who is so perfect for this kind of island. We've got Blair, Fauna, Molly, Lily, Ketchup, Hazel, Bruce, Poppy, and Coco. So many cuties. Also, we're not gonna go into all of the villager homes, maybe one or two here and there. I know a few are decorated and a few are not, so maybe we'll just gamble with a couple of them. But let me just show you guys this entrance right away because it is so stunning it is absolutely beautiful to see what someone can do with a little bit of pathing a little bit of like flowers and bushes and wheat fields scattered throughout it is just so so pretty and a perfect reminder that you do not have to use crazy terraforming or have crazy views right out of your airport gate in order to impress anyone. And I also see our friend over here. So let's go ahead and say hello. Step by step, so cute. What a cute outfit. <laughs> We're matching, but not really. Same dress, different color. Okay. Now I do want to go in Coco's home just because it is right out front. So we'll just we'll just gamble with this one. How about that? Let's see if this one's decorated. And also she's a perfect villager to have on this kind of island too. Oh my gosh, look at it. Oh, I love it. It reminds me of Coco's original home. I feel like it has a very, very similar ambiance, similar color scheme but obviously it's been elevated with some beautiful furniture, which I'm just obsessed with. Oh, Coco, it's so perfect. And perfectly matches the whole desert aesthetic as I definitely expected. This is so, so sweet. Thank you for letting me visit your home. You may be the only one we visit in this particular tour, but it is very stunning. And now I think I'm actually kind of tempted to go to the right side of this island first because that's where resident services is located, which I'll show you right up here once you cross the train tracks. Look at how stunning this entrance to resident services is. I absolutely love it. It's very minimal in the perfect way. Look at that, we have a little gyroid there to greet us. 
Of course, we have the archway with the party light. It's just very, very pleasing to the eye. And I absolutely love it, so I wanted to show that to you. And in addition, train tracks, perfect. Here we have a little vaulting pole, which is really cute. I feel like out of all the tools, we usually see like the shovel, the ladder, and the watering can placed out pretty regularly, but never the vaulting pole, right, Lily? Lily doesn't care. <laughs> The beaches are nice and simple, so we probably won't explore too much of them, but I love the simplicity here. I mean, all we need is sand anyway to really kind of make the, you know, make it cohesive with the rest of the sand. And here we have Zell. No, no, this is Bruce's house. And look at how cool this is. First of all, I want to point out on our right hand side over here, the archways kind of combined with one another. It's like we have the pergola, the party lights and the castle gates all combined to create a tunnel, which I think is so cool. But in addition to that, what an amazing yard we have here. Tons of barrels, shipping items, bottles, and then a nice little place to read or watch the sunset. And let's go inside. I'm tempted just to see if we've got another decorated interior here. Oh, I'm pretty sure this is Bruce's original. It's still incredible, but I digress. <laughs> I think maybe Coco's is the only one we're gonna go in. Just so I don't show you guys everyone's original homes, you can easily Google some of those. Man, this is so pretty though. I love this concept, like I said, such a fun, tunnel here and then we have poppy's house oh my goodness how cute to have a little newspaper qr code set right outside of her home as opposed to like i don't know any other kind of rug or you know it, a different kind of qr code or custom design and here we have zell's house with a nice little area <laughs> to hop in and relax Speak of the devil himself, there he is. Oh, and how cool is this? It's like we have a little desert apiary where we can do a little bit of bee farming, some honey gathering, and here we go. I had a feeling we would see a view like this and this is exceeding all of my expectations. Oh my goodness. You know what's so beautiful about this time of night in the game too? You can see the stars just starting to come out for the night, but of course we still have the beautiful color of, you know, oranges and pinks and yellows from the sunset itself, but this is such a beautiful view in general. So stunning. I am quite a fan. I love it. Let me know in the comments, are you a windmill fan or a wind turbine fan? Because the windmills came out with the 2.0 update, if I'm remembering correctly, but the turbines have kind of always been a part of the game. But they both give a similar yet different effect. So I'm curious if you have any preferences. Oh my goodness, look at Lily's yard. Oh, I love this. Okay, this code is incredible. Also, this code this little round rug situation, both absolutely beautiful. And I love the combination of the well with those glazed pots over there on the left-hand side. That is so pretty. I'm guessing up here is Miss Molly's house. Oh no, it's the main home. How beautiful. Oh my goodness. I completely forgot that this exterior exists it's so pretty because it's almost like it's partial stucco partial brick it's very subtle in the way that the colors are slightly different between the top and the bottom just really really beautiful and of course matches everything else on this island quite well oh how cool is this and here we have just a little oasis. This is so pretty. Very creative ways to block off these rooms, by the way. It looks like we just have some of the topiaries, a couple of other items, like the log stakes. Very, very creative. So that way you're not resorting to like the wall partitions or anything like that. 
but this is so, so good. Such a beautiful home. It's very peaceful in here. And I guess let's check out the upstairs and downstairs since the other rooms are blocked off. They might, they may not have anything in there, but we can look. Oh, how cool. This is beautiful. Absolutely love a little greenhouse moment, <laughs> especially on a desert island where typically things are not growing or very specific breeds of plants are growing. It's nice to see a greenhouse where we have lots of variety. I love that. So pretty. And time to go downstairs. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I have a feeling we're not supposed to go through that Mario pipe because it's probably there for decorating purposes. I'm not gonna hop in it, but if you dream of this island yourself, then you go ahead and do so. Sometimes it offers a nice surprise. You never know. But I believe the basement was probably under construction and used for decorating, running back and forth to get things from your inventory, all that. What a cool area right here too. Do a little bit of yoga. A little bit of meditating. Oh my goodness, I love these little bike tracks too right here. That is so clever. Those kind of details really make a difference in an island. And here we have an amazing outdoor cinema. Oh, how cool. Not only do we have a beautiful place to come and watch a movie, have dinner and picnic. It looks like over there on this side, we have a little area to play some music and just gather with the community and the other villagers. This is really sweet. And I gotta say again, the custom code that is underneath the um, cushions and like the dining area right here, it looks so nice on top of the light dirt pathing, which I believe this is the light dirt pathing and not the sand, I could be mistaken but it looks absolutely incredible. Look at Miss Molly over here. Oh, she ran away. <laughs> hey, Molly. So cool. Wow. The pops of purple really make such a huge difference too. I mean, you could really get away with making a desert island without many flowers at all, but having just that pop of color is so pretty and vibrant. And here we are at the museum, which I've got to say, having just a couple of the artifacts scattered outside is so cool. Oftentimes on tours, I see a lot of symmetry whenever it comes to decorating the museum, but here we definitely do not have that. It's very, very natural. It's very inviting. And I love it. I absolutely love it. So gorgeous. I'm gonna actually go back through this way and see what we missed over here. Oh, we're back at Lily's house. Okay, perfect. Just wanna cross my T's, dot my I's, all those things. <laughs> oh, and then this connects back to Resident services, amazing. So we have a sign here from whenever you wake up at the dream address that will tell you if you wanna hit up the museum right away, you can absolutely do so. That is one thing I have never done in dream addresses is go into the museum and explore what everyone's collected. I actually don't even know if that's possible. <laughs> Again, I haven't done it myself, but let me know if you have. Okay, this is cool. It looks like we have a dig site right here, full of artifacts. So, so fun. And there's something too about the flimsy shovel that really, really brings it all together. You could use any of the different shovel variants, but sometimes those original flimsy tools are what's best in terms of decorating, or at least in my opinion. 
And does this go back? Okay, no, this is not going back to the secret beach. Oh my gosh, another little apiary area. And all of this connects as well. I really love how easy it is to navigate. I mean, of course, a desert, you're not gonna have too many roadblocks, too many areas that are incredibly cluttered. But suffice it to say, it is really, really nice to navigate. Let me just see, just in case the museum is blocking it. Aha, so it's back here. Oh my goodness, I totally missed it. Here is the secret beach. <laughs> I was wondering if it was completely blocked off by the museum, but you can access it. And actually it's pretty handy if Red is visiting because you can go and get your artwork assessed and donated relatively quickly at the museum here. And over this way, it looks like we have Miss Ketchup's house. It looks like she might be the one to tend to some of the bees. Oh, and of course she has a little pond. A little pond for ketchup and all the tomato plants. See, this is so creative. This is where I love seeing a little bit of uniqueness come into play with certain island themes. And we're gonna go inside. I have a feeling this one's gonna be different. Just because the exterior is pretty different as far as her yard, but I could be wrong. Oh my gosh, how cute! Now this is also relatively similar to Ketchup's original home, isn't it? I might be mistaking, but I loved all just the dropped tomatoes everywhere. That's just super, super sweet. We have like some jarred veggies. We have a basket of veggies. So good. Yep, I love this little pond. And this probably looks good on so many different islands. Just the way that this layout is working right here with the custom code being the pond and a couple of items placed in the middle of it, like the ducks, like the little cauliflower cushions. <laughs> That's what I like to call them. I know they're the mom cushions, right? Super cute. And then just some crops kind of surrounding it. I love that. Fun little campfire area over this way. And oh, so this is where Blair lives in a very similar kind of layout happening right here, except we have potatoes. Looks like we have a little turtle here. Wow, I love it. Love all of the ponds. lives here? Whose house is this? Hazel. Hazel's home. Cute. Oh, and we're getting that lag happening, which I love. Always means a lot of work has gone into the island itself. And here... I just realized we have not even seen Nook's Cranny and Able Sisters, but here we go. Lo and behold, right here. And oh my goodness, I am loving the retro kind of vintage vibes that are happening here. This is a great, great Nook's Cranny. Just the way everything is decorated. 10 out of 10 from me. We have a little area for gasoline. Of course, we do have the retro television outside with a little rocking chair. I'm going to take a picture of this because I love it. I think it's great. And then I'm guessing this must be Able Sisters nearby because of the clothing. Oh, yep. Here we go. So, so well decorated. Oh my goodness. Again, I want to say this Nook's Cranny, this Able Sisters, it's like in the top 10 I've ever seen in terms of decorations because it's very on theme with the structures themselves, what the structures represent. But in addition to that, they are so unique. So unique, so different.
I love them. These are so good. No notes. <laughs> Not that I would ever give notes on an island anyway. That's pretentious. Let me actually check out. Oh my gosh, how cool. I almost skipped over this peninsula. But I love that we have a little stargazing area right here. So perfect for when Celeste comes. I feel like we often see that on the back of an island just because, you know, the cliffs are naturally placed back there. But using your peninsula for something like that, like stargazing, so smart. Oh, and here's Miss Molly's house, our tour guide of the day. She has a beautiful yard as well. A little duck friend, a duck friend for our duck friend. <laughs> and then this is Fauna's. I had a feeling it might be. Such beautiful yards, such beautiful homes too. Oh, and I bet this is a beautiful view as well. I love how narrow the actual in-game rivers are. I also love that there are still some. You know, it's even though it's a desert, it's not completely water-free as we've seen both with custom codes and the in-game rivers and all that jazz. But they're narrow, they're a little bit more, I don't know, a little bit more spare, farce. <laughs> farce would be the word. <laughs> What a gorgeous island. And now we're back at Coco's house. I am just so blown away. Islands like this really, really make my heart so happy for a multitude of reasons. One, just being they're so creative and unique and they're so, so different from, you know, what we would normally see. This is gorgeous too. This is where the big lake is. So pretty. But even more than that, just getting inspired by seeing someone do something a little bit different or picking up a way of someone decorating a pond that's different than you did it. It's just so much fun. This is beautiful. This actually might be a good place for us to end this tour. Please, please do yourself a favor because this island creator, secretly me on Instagram, as you guys know, They've got so many amazing islands. Like this is just one of so many. So do yourself a favor if you want to be inspired and check out more beautiful creations that are present on the Instagram account because you will not be disappointed. I hope you guys enjoyed this island tour. Thank you so much again to Factor for sponsoring this video. I will see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.